Hi guys, it's D'Angelo. I'm here to do the what's on my iPhone tag today. Um, I've been watching so many of these videos, absolutely loving them. I've been finding lots of great apps because of these videos and I decided to show you what I got on my iPhone. So I'm going to start off with the case. Um, or let me just set, first start off saying is I have had this iPhone for I think it's just over a year um, and before that I've never had any kind of smartphone before that I think it was like a the um, Motorola flip phone or something like that and so this was my first experience with the iPhone and I ended up getting black um, I know white it was like a huge deal to everybody everybody wanted had to have the white but to me I could care less I actually preferred the black um, so I picked the black and then on my case that I have right now it is brand new I just found it on accessoriesgeek.com I absolutely love it um, I've been looking for like a 3d blinged out case like this um, for a while, I know that um, a lot of people had videos on these um, from like uh, me bling bling .com and um, a few others and these have run anywhere between like, I don't know, 50 to $120. They're just crazy pricing. I just could not bring myself to paying something like that. So when I found this one, um, it was... I don't remember exactly, I think it was like either $12.50 or $12.99 or something like that, but under $13 for this awesome um, blinged out 3D skull case and like the skull thing is like kind of popular right now. I ordered um, a couple others. There was another one that was similar to this that has butterflies on it. And then I ordered another one that was a little bit more plain, um, but it has like a animal print, which I haven't tried those out yet, so this this is the first one I put on in that order. So there's my iPhone case, and it's from it goes all the way around the sides, the back, and the front. So it's got some decent protection. Um, I've been using this for I don't know about a week, a little over a week now, and um, nothing has fallen off. I mean, it's it's pretty darn sturdy and secure. Love it. All right, so quickly moving on to my iPhone, inside my iPhone. Um, this is, I my recently changed my front cover picture to my dog. And um, my daughter took this as we were driving. We had the window rolled down and he had his he had head stuck out of the window and he just looked so darn cute. So she took this picture of him. And um, so I just recently changed that over. And then on the inside, I do not have a lock on this because um, my kids still take my phone and use it for their games and stuff. And if I had a lock on it, all they would do is just put in password after password and um, like deactivate my phone. And um, there's nothing you really, really do when that happens except for wait. So here is my main page. For s I like my apps. Um, Usually everybody has their apps, the four rows going across, um, the whole page covered. For some reason I just like having it um, like this with just the top two rows so I can still see like my background design, which I, um, this um, background design that I absolutely love, I found through um, Nicole's iPhone video, X Cherry Boom something. Um, she got this app. It's called App Frames right there, and I can't remember if, I think when she got it, it was originally free, but the, I think I had to pay like $1.99 for it. And you can basically, um, it's kind of like just creating a background picture, and it, it has the outlines for your apps, and then the background that you can pick. There's a whole bunch of different um, app outlines to choose from, a bunch of different backgrounds to choose from, and you just create as many as you want, change it as mes many times as you want, um, and it just saves it to your picture file. Like, let me see. Like, this is the one that I have right now. It's just a basically a picture, and you just use that as your background. 
this is the one I had right before that, so it's got the different background, the different um, app outlines. So, like and like I said, you can do all different colors. Every one could be different. Um, you just create your own design and just make it your own. So that is like my all-time favorite app for um, backgrounds and stuff like that, and I absolutely love that. I'm so glad that um, Nicole pointed that out in her videos, and I absolutely found it right away and used it right away. All right, so like I said, this is my main page. I have down below um, my email, my um, messages, and my phone. And um, before I had my Safari down there as for all four, which I thought you had to have four things down here, but again, watching another person's video who only had three, um, I moved the Safari up top and just have these three down below. So I have my notepad, which I do use a lot. Um, anytime I need to write something down to remember um, or keep track of, I use that. There's my main camera. There's my pictures, uh, my calendar, which I use a ton lately, trying to keep track of um, all my kids' games and activities and schedules and work and um, practices and everything. So there's the Safari internet. Um, right here is the utilities. I'm sorry. I can't do this while looking in the video. Um, all right, so this is weather. So I have the regular weather. I have um, the weather channel and the my radar, which is really good for storms coming in. And let's see, this one is travel. Um, this one has a um, two tip apps, which I love. I find that is very useful. I have MapQuest for directions, um, Maps also is for directions, Compass. Um, I don't really use that, um, but it's just cute to have all on there. Um, Urban Spoon, which helps me find restaurants and stuff. And um, this Around Me app I found on somebody's video. I absolutely love this thing. It is like the best app. One of the best, one of my top like three apps on my phone. Um, you can just click on that and um, wherever you are um, you can find any kind of like restaurant, coffee shop, gas station, whatever. It'll tell you where it is and how far away from you it is. I've used it many times um, looking for like Dunkin Donuts or Starbucks or something like that. Um, very very handy. And then um, the calculator of course. So that is the first page. Oh, I wanted to ask you guys, um, under photos, I know there's like all these different lines down here. I created um, two different photo albums, one called Kids and one called Nails. Um, I wanted to try to like organize all my pictures. Um, and I did, I was able to figure out how to move the pictures to these different folders, but then they still stay in this camera full, camera roll um, album. So it kind of defeats the purpose of like separating things out because I didn't want everything in here. Um, so if anybody has any suggestions on how to make different albums and not having every single thing in here and every time I take a picture I have to keep moving it to the right album. Um, I don't know. Any suggestions I would um, love to have. Alright, going on to the next page, I have um, the basics. Facebook, Twitter, um, these are my two favorite games that I play um, right now, which is Draw Something and Words with Friends. If anybody wants to play, let me know. Um, I'll just put my Usernames down below in the info box if you guys are interested in starting up a game. Um, there's the Instagram, and um, this is my picture design folder where I have um, the different like um, collages, um, different picture editing things, and I found these from other videos for the most part. This is that app thing right there. Um, I really don't use these too often mainly because like these are all the free ones and there's lots of ads 
and they're very limited in um, what you can do with them unless you pay for the actual app that has all the good stuff in it. So those I don't use too often. All right, so the next one is utilities and I got the um, app store here and lots of apps to update. Um, reminders, which I, I think that came with the phone. I don't really use that as often or I haven't used it once because I use that notepad that I'll, instead. Um, voice memos, which I don't use. The clock, um, I don't really use that. And then the settings and stocks, those just came with the phone. And then I have this reference folder. Um, I have the Google app. I have the Spanish translation app, which um, the kids have been taking Spanish in school and so that um, they use a lot. I have the dictionary. I have the um, library app for our local library. Um, the Kindle app, I think. No, I think I did download that. Um, we have a Kindle, um, so I downloaded this for the iPhone, but I never actually used it. Here's the flashlight, which is pretty cute. Um, the IMDB, the uh, movie database app. Um, I like that on, I use that online on the computer a lot, and so I got the app for that. And then WebMD, um, which is pretty popular for looking things up, but I haven't really used that too often. All right, so the next page is lots of games, and the majority of these are all from the kids. Um, we got the entertainment, which is all there. Tap zoo games, pet games, blah, blah, blah. That's all the stuff that they play. Um, another one called games, which is more games that they also play. I like that. This one is pretty fun, and this Magic Piano is a really, really cute game. That's that's uh, that's a lot of fun to try out. The Sudoku, I love playing Sudoku every now and then when I have to like wait for stuff. Um, Paper Toss, that is really, really cute. Um, the Fruit Ninja, the kids and I really enjoy that one. I ended up buying the um, full version one. Um, Super Rope, the kids have used that one. Talking Tom, this is just absolutely adorable. Um, when my kids first saw that one and used it, they they just laughed their heads off. It, it's just, it, you, I mean, it's just, you have to laugh at that one. Um, Temple Run, I have never used that. Also, something the kids use, Bag It Light, that my son got that one. Um, and so these are basically just kid stuff. Atari games, um, kind of got those for my husband because um, we put those on the iPad and we have like this Atari machine thing that you can put that in and use it as with joysticks and stuff. And then more fun stuff and there's more games. There's that logo quiz game. I think I, whoops, I think I found that for um, Nicole also. That's a lot of fun. Um, Pac-Man and Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Tiny Towers in there. There's the Game Center that comes with your phone. There's more fun here. Um, they have dog sounds, this name scream thing. This is really cute. I found that also from Nicole. She was definitely one of my favorite um, What's on My iPhone videos. I got lots of good stuff from her. Um, the emojis, picture things, and um, some trivia thing. Here's food and drink. Um, some recipe apps. Um, this is a wine app. I haven't used that one yet, though. It's supposed to um, keep track of all the wine in your collection. And this is a drink app that tells you, I guess, the recipes of all different mixed drinks. Um, Living Social, I just picked that one up um, last week when they had that special deal where you pay $5 for a $10 Starbucks gift card. Um, so this was pretty neat. You get lots of good deals on that. All right, so the next page, um, let's see, you got the newsstand, which you can't get rid of, your contacts, which you can't get rid of. Um, I always use the contacts in the phone thing down below. Um, I never really go in there separately. Um, videos, there's just 
bunch of YouTube apps and stuff. Um, TV, I have QVC and the news station and um, NFL and In the Kitchen with Bob. Um, let's see, all the store apps I have here, Walgreens, Home Depot, CVS, Groupon, eBay, Pink, Victoria's Secret, Target, um, regular Victoria's Secret and Beautylish. And let's see, some music apps. Um, we use the SoundHound all the time trying to figure out um, music that's playing in the car. Um, I do not use the iTunes. I never put any music on this because um, I just don't listen to music on this. I don't know why. Um, we have the Sirius app over here, Pandora. Um, I think I use the iHeartRadio the most. Um, this is just the barcodes, the things that you can scan and find out pricing and compare pricing with different stores. And 17 Insider, I found that off of another video. I haven't actually tried that one yet. All right, so this page is something really cool that, again, Nicole taught me how to do. I never knew you could do it. These are actually um, vlogs, no, blogs of um, people on the internet that um, I didn't know that you can actually save as like a little app on your phone, which is sweet. Uh, for example, uh, my all-time favorite, Carly Chrisman. So if you go to her blog on the website on your iPhone, um, what you can do is this button right down here, you click on that, and you click on Add to Home Screen, and that puts it onto your iPhone as like a little app. So I have my eight top blogs right now. Um, there's Vat is Rad, whoops. Um, Vat is Rad, Glam Trotter, um, Bentley Blonde is there, Carly Chrisman, um, Beauty Junkie, um, let's see, Making Up the Midwest, and two of uh, these beautiful dreams and Everyday Beautiful is from Tiffany. She is on YouTube and Twitter a lot. She does makeup and stuff. And um, yep, those are my eight there. And that is the last page. So that is it. Um, I hope I didn't bore you too much. I hope you found something exciting to put on your iPhone. Let me know what your favorite apps are. If you have something other than here, I'm sure everybody's got lots of different stuff. Um, but just let me know what your favorite app is down below and if you have a video on what's on your iPhone You can link it to mine and uh, let me check it out So that is about it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed checking out what's on my phone um, Don't forget. I have a giveaway running right now. It's for some bracelet jewelry pieces. I will link it right here um, Please check that out. All right, and I will chat with you guys next time. Bye